Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and today we are back in Star Citizen on the EPTU uh, 3.23 branch. Um, and today I'm going to be showing off a little bit more of Master Modes. I'm going to be heading out to, assuming that the mission is still there, Daymar. Um, and we're going to see about getting our. Freelancer, there we go. Crusaders, verified freelancer is around yellow. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get our verified freelancer uh, certification here. So we're going to go ahead and swap over to uh, nav mode. Which, let's see here, OM1. Go ahead and head up there. Nav mode unlocks uh, full speed and also uh, uh, unlocks your uh, quantum uh, quantum drive. Let's see here, there we go. There's yellow. Um, and so you kind of have to switch to that. Well, you absolutely have to switch to that now. There's no kind of about it. Um, but you have to switch to nav mode now to really get anywhere at the distance of the end. Uh, quantum travel. Um, but that also means that your shields and weapons go offline. Um, the, the shields are attracted into the, uh, into a shield capacitor, so to speak. And quantum your, uh, your weapons are also retracted into a, into a capacitor of sorts. Um, to be restored as soon as you uh, as soon as you swap back into SCM mode, but it also means that while you're in that mode, there's there's a significant uh, significant delay in actually pressing the button to swapping over. Uh, that you are without shields and weapons, um, and and still reduced to pretty low speeds. Around 200 50 meters per second or so. Um, yep, kind of right like this. And until your uh, until your quantum drive cools down and spools back up, you're still locked down at those same speeds. Uh, oh, that's what it was. So I swapped over. Let's go ahead and we'll swap back to nav mode here. There we go. As you can see, with the red bar there and the nav quantum blinking, there we go. And now our top speeds are unlocked. Go ahead and zoom into the location here. And I'm going to go ahead and get close, about uh, 13, 10, about 10. And then we'll swap back. There we go. course, as you can see, shields come out pretty quickly. Um, there we go. And we can now go ahead and travel around at a maximum of about 500 meters per second. Uh, see about taking these other guys out. So I've got uh, I've got panthers on here and yellow jackets, which are the the two default default ship loadout uh, weapons. Come on, move. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can take this down. I'm not anticipating a whole lot of trouble. Really, are. our biggest problem is just going to be the the jankiness of the servers, and that they are really having a little bit of issue keeping up the stuff. There we go. And that one's that one's disabled now. It's, I believe, still drifting. Though. Is it still drifting? 
Yes, it still is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead then and finish it off here. So in a soft dead state, there we go. Kill it dead. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll see if there's any armor or weapons or anything around here that I can I can take from this guy. I think, yeah, this was actually a, a Saber Raven. Interestingly enough. Um, apparently the NPCs are not bright enough to use the the EMP or the, the jamming uh, weapons or anything on these, so that was relatively easy to take down. And I'm not seeing a corpse on this one, so so on that. Alright, well that one was that one was relatively easy to take out here, so we go ahead and we'll uh, pop the wings back out here. So I, that's what I meant to do. Hang on, what do we got here? Watch out for the asteroids now. Over here on the dark side of things, it's uh, oh, okay. Smaller asteroids. Might have to. Uh, might have. Oh goodness, that was weird. Might have to bring the. Uh, might have to bring the mining ship out, the uh, prospector here, and uh, see what we can find. That's uh, that's going to be in a different video though. So we've got onto the uh, onto the list. I'm going to go ahead. Whoops! We'll put the the landing gear those out. I'm um, no since we're at a quantum travel point, I want to be kind of careful since we don't have any shields on right now. Apprehend. So that should have suspect apprehend. Bounty hunter, that's Hurston. Bounty extracting. Jack Crusader Security. Bounty issued for VLRT. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and get one of these then. And we'll uh, see what we can do. Um, servers at this point have been still pretty painfully slow. Um, response times have been anywhere from. Oh, one to two seconds to ten seconds or so. Um, so I wouldn't say it's uh, wouldn't say it's quite ready for mainline play. Um, but we're still getting uh, still getting better performance at least today than we were yesterday. Um, that's been that's been something that's been quite nice. Uh, terminals on Selen. Okay, good. So we're going to pop out there. And we're going to see what we can find. So, one of the nice things too about the new uh, the new master modes and the quantum travel changes is that uh, quantum markers are no longer you know popping up all around your screen. Uh, they're no longer the little you know triangular arrows or anything pointing all over the place. You kind of just focus and you only see the ones that are kind of in front of you. And they kind of you've got a couple of different shapes now so you've got the round ones like that for the uh, for planets and then you've got these little star shaped ones like that for the OM points and then you've got these little triangular ones for for ground systems ground locations and then you've got the square ones still for stuff like Seraphim Station and for um, let's see here where's There's uh, SPK, it should be around here, security post cryo somewhere. Um, but I'm sure that one would be a, a similar square kind of shape. 
Um, we want to take a look and see if we can find Terra Mills. That was the that was the location. Aid security post. No. Aid shelter. Let family farms. Terra Mills. There we go. Go ahead and head over there. Uh, we'll see what we can find. Now, this is not the uh, the final form of uh, quantum travel. Um, they're still working on quantum travel. To, you know, this this really has not changed other than the UI. Um, but they're going to be adding something called quantum boost, uh, which is basically going to allow you to mine jump um, at about one tenth. Of, uh, of quantum travel speed and it's kind of going to be used for about oh they, they said about 10,000 to 30,000 kilometers or so this kind of the, the range is that they're intending for us to be under um, and then there we go um, and then You've also then got the new uh, quantum travel, and that one has now got, or is going to have, um, a new method so that uh, now when you are going to enter quantum travel, they'll kind of be like a little mini game um, that you've got to try and you know keep your nose inside the inside the cone, I suppose you could call it. Um, here we go. That, uh, that is like the quantum, quantum tunnel. And, uh, oh, oh goodness. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to end well for you, mate. here. That's one thing that Master Modes has definitely done, is that combat now happens at uh, much closer ranges. You can see these ships um, much closer and much better than you could before, because combat's now happening at uh, 150, 200, maybe 300 meters. Oh, and he's dead. Perfect. Hello. Uh, instead of the 500 to 1,000 to 1,300 that was often, in, often happening at uh, in life. We've also got significantly higher capacitor loads now. Um, So, you know, I've got 100 and 124 uh, laser pellets. Here we go. Boom. Uh, that I can pull from before I have to stop and recharge my capacitors. Let's see if we can see if we can get anything out of this as well. Not sure where the uh, where the cockpit's actually going to end up over here. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure that's it. Is that? So that's the cockpit. Is it? No. Uh, yes. Yes it is. Okay. Hang on. That's no fun. <laughs> Pop down here and just see if Land there's here. any. Deployed. Any uh, 
pilot remains inside there. Go ahead and take... Doesn't look like it. Cheating me out of my... Uh, Cheating me out of, out of my free suits. <laughs> Somewhere along here, but I'm not gonna... Uh, not gonna bother zooming around to, to try and track this guy down. Okay. So overall, I'd say performance is, is pretty good. Um, once... Once you get... Uh, once you get the AI to, to fly properly, as long as they're not bouncing all over the place, um, you can kind of get uh, kind of get some pretty decent fights out of it. in there yes there's a body in there okay perfect um, let's see if we can get into this now the back tower ramps open so I'm gonna see if I can get into here okay. and you're getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of stuttering here with the with the UI there kind of notice that that's a, that's a little bit of a problem, this latest patch. Um, let's see, can we... sure that I'm going to be able to get into there. Whoop, hang on. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and loot him. There we go. So he doesn't have anything on him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Take all... Okay. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to uh, access open inventory. There we go. And that'll allow us to go ahead and take uh, all his armor. A little bit that he had. Um, vehicles personal. I'm going to go ahead and we'll... Can we do that? There we go. Perfect. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll carry that one. Here we go. Perfect. Very nice. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll access open storage. There we go. And hang on. And we'll put this one into the external. Perfect. All right. So we've got ourselves a new... Oh, what is this, like a death, death mask helmet or something? Strange. Oh, I thought this one had a... a breathe on this one without, uh, without difficulty. I thought, it, I thought it had oxygen on it, but, uh... Not because I'm freezing to death over here. <laughs> Engines online. There we go. All right. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop over here and just see. I need a bit docking. No, I don't want to dock. Over here, we've got a 400i. 
and a couple other things. We've got another, is that 300i, 325, something like that. One of the 300 series. Fortunately, they've left it on the pad there, so not going to be able to get in and do any, you know, refuels or repair or anything. Um, so, all right, put the put the landing gear down here. Disaster is popping. All right. That's really weird. I could have sworn this thing had a. Uh, Ten. So it's not, not too freezing cold. It's chilly. It's not uh, not unsurvivable. There we go. Just see, maybe there's some there's some loot or something in here that we can that we can grab quickly. There we go. Okay. How about open then? Oh, something's not working here. Hmm. There's not be anything in there or something. Change the key binds now. It's uh, it's left control now is prone, and then C is now crouch. Open this, and that's interesting. It's not actually working. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's because they're turned around. It looks like it's backwards. happening with all of them. Let's go ahead and loot here and just see... No. Hey, well, we found another bug. <laughs> go ahead and report that one on the issue council as well. That's kind of been one of the fun things about uh, about playing with this one, because I, I don't normally spring for the, uh, the subscription fee, um, is that I've had... Uh, found significantly more bugs than I normally do with uh, with just normal gameplay. Obviously this is you know, this is wave one, so that's part of it. Um, that's gonna take some unlearning. Um, but uh, you know just just uh, I kind of feel like you know because it's this is test branch um, that you know the issues that I do found find um, I'm you know, more inclined to actually put them into the issue council and get get them taken care of, get them addressed. Um, and when I play on live, I feel like you know that's that's my game time, right? Um, but if I'm if I'm playing on PTU, that's that's where I'm testing. And so, you know, so it's been kind of fun to. To look at stuff and go. All right, you know, I found a bug. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the uh, into the issue council. See if we can get that one get that one fixed. So, um, I guess at, at this point, I'm really kind of uh, still on the fence about master modes. Um, until we get server performance to the point where we can actually really test stuff in a in a good condition and you know, you, you get enemies that are dangerous, and you get uh, you get you know decent uh, decent AI and that kind of things, and, and that matter work up to the point where I can actually uh, you know play some of the other you know the higher level uh, combat missions. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be kind of hard to test and see what exactly I've got uh, got available. It's okay, uh, but I'm I'm kind of looking forward to seeing, you know, what all we can, what all we can do, and uh, kind of what changes are going to be made for that. 
Um, so I'm going to keep uh, keep playing here um, in 323 EPTU until live comes out. Um, I'm still, you know, very much looking forward to that, and uh, I'm going to continue playing. And hopefully, the, uh, the bugs and the, the nasty nasty bits will be able to be uh, straightened out, and we'll be able to have a nice, smooth, uh, content-filled patch. Uh, be able to get some get some good gameplay, and uh, you know, really really have a great time with the uh, with the latest patch. Um, that's going to be it though for today. Um, thank you all for watching. If if you're looking forward to 323, um, or you know just seeing the different uh, the different features and that kind of stuff here. In Star Citizen, go ahead and uh, hit that like down below. Leave a comment if you've got a if you've got a minute to do so. And uh, I will see you with you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Ta -ta.